forests the use of forests let's see what a forest looks like so many shades of green and many other colors variety of trees trees are covered with creepers and climbers if the canopy of trees is thick sunlight doesn't penetrate much so even in the daytime it's dark and cool inside a forest the ground is covered with plant leaves some just fallen and some decaying fruits seeds twigs and small herbs moss mushrooms and insects can be found under these the structure of a forest branchy part of a tree above the stem is known as the crown the roof created by the upper branches of tall trees is known as the canopy giant tall trees create the upper layer or the canopy in the forest shrubs and tall grasses form the next layer these are called the understories herbs form the lowest layer interrelationship of plants soil and decomposers in a forest all animals depend on plants for food herbivores eat plants directly and carnivores eat these herbivores or other carnivores this forms food chains many food chains have common elements which form the food web when the plants and animals die they fall to the ground there are large number of microorganisms in the soil which feed on the dead plants and animals and convert them into humus these microorganisms are known as decomposers that puts the nutrients of the dead plants and animals back into the soil the nutrients are used by the plants and through them they reach the animals and they keep getting recycled this way forests maintain balances trees use carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and release oxygen in the process as they are the only living things that also put back oxygen in the air they are necessary to keep the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide so they are called the lungs of the earth without them life on earth would not be able to continue living for long they release water through transpiration so they help clouds forming and the process of rain as well the canopy and understories leaf covering on the floor and roots of plants prevent soil erosion when it rains the water does not flow away it seeps into the ground and maintains the water table this also prevents floods how forests grow seeds are dispersed through animals their droppings winds and water the floor is fertile with humus and provides the right conditions for the seeds to grow the seeds develop into seedlings and some grow into trees that's how more trees grow in the forest and the forest is maintained the use of forests habitat to many plants and insects and animals maintain balances of air prevent soil erosion maintain water table bring rainfall to surrounding areas have many medicinal plants and have many other resources like wood lac gum oils spices fodder etc if you visit a forest be quiet your noise can disturb the animals living there be clean don't throw your trash in the forest be safe don't stay in till it's too late don't go too deep inside what did we just learn forest is a system comprising various plants animals and microorganisms in a forest trees form the uppermost layer followed by shrubs the herbs form the lowest layer of vegetation 
the various components of the forest are interdependent on each other. In the forest, there is interaction between soil, water, air and living organisms. Forests protect the soil from erosion. Forests influence climate, water cycle and air quality. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.